Many applications need to send out emails. But how do you test this functionality without bombarding real inboxes with messages? The answer lies in using a fake SMTP server. In this video, I will demonstrate how to send messages from any application to a fake server that will accept these messages but won't send them to actual recipients. For demonstration, I will use a PowerShell terminal on a Windows 10 machine to send these test messages. First, let's download dev null SMTP server from this page. Since I am working on Windows, I am going to download an executable file. Once the application starts running, I click the start button to start this server. Since I am trying to listen on a network port, I see a message from Windows Defender prompting the user if they want to allow it on the network. During this video, I will be sending these test emails from the same machine, and therefore, I click the cancel button. You must click allow if you plan to send emails from another computer. Now, the server is running, and I am ready to generate an email. I open Windows PowerShell Terminal on the same machine. I copy and paste the command from this page. Notice the value for SMTP server is set to 127.0.0.1, indicating the server is on the same machine. Additionally, I am also using SSL encryption and authentication to send this message. I see the communication log between the Windows terminal and the server in this tab, which is extremely useful in troubleshooting email-related problems. For example, you can retrieve the following information by looking at this log. The IP address of the sender. If encryption was used. Values used for sender and recipient. The reason for any errors. I click here to see the last message received by this server in this tab. This fake SMTP server supports encryption as well as authentication. When encryption is enabled, the server will use a self-signed SSL certificate. Therefore, I will have to configure the application to ignore certificate warnings. If needed, I can specify a trusted SSL certificate before launching this fake server by following the instructions on this page. Optionally, I click this checkbox to save incoming emails to a folder on my disk. I can change this default value to any other folder if needed. When this is checked, every incoming message will be saved to this location. That concludes this video. Contact our support department if you have questions regarding this fake SMTP server.